I was diagnosed with chronic lymphocytic leukemia in June of 2000. I actually went to a doctor and had blood tests done every six months. I was sent to him by my local primary care physician who had noticed a slight increase in my white count over the last three years before that. So I probably had the disease a little bit before 2007 or 2000. And in 2007, my symptoms got bad enough and I had what they call B symptoms, which are night sweats, loss of weight, fatigue, and those as, as well as increasing counts in my blood. So my white count went extremely high. Finally, it was decided that I needed treatment, but because I had not made the jump to a specialist, the local hematologist that was treating me basically gave me the wrong treatments for the situation that I was in. I, in the middle of the treatments with him, which were chemotherapy uh, and monoclonal antibody, I made an appointment with a specialist and the specialist saw me um, right in the middle of this treatment. And he took one look at me and told me that he was gonna put me in the hospital because I was suffering from a condition called autoimmune hemolytic anemia, which means that basically your body is attacking your red blood cells. And he wanted to basically treat that first because he was afraid that that was gonna kill me before the CLL was. So he immediately put me in the hospital, treated me with transfusions and steroids to try to get that stabilized. We then got it stabilized to a point. He gave me steroids for a course uh, of about four months. I went off those. I was fine for about 12 months. It came back again, the anemia. We treated it again. And then finally it came back again after another nine months. And then we decided to actually do a treatment um, of a monoclonal antibody and high dose methylprednisolone, which is like steroids on steroids. And actually I got a, a, a pretty good response out of that first treatment. And um, I got about 18 months, but then the CLL came back again. And so we decided that we might as well try it again since I got a good response. So we did that one again, but that response only lasted about nine months. At that time, it was decided that maybe we needed something that was a little bit more effective. And I entered into a clinical trial that was testing uh, three combination drugs. And uh, one was a, a brand new drug that was basically called a BCL2 inhibitor. And one was uh, chemotherapy. And the last one was uh, monoclonal antibody. And actually, I, I did very well on that. My blood counts came into normal range. But again, after 18 months, everything came back and I had to be treated again. At that time, another clinical trial was offered to me, and this clinical trial was comparing two drugs, ofatubumab, which is a monoclonal antibody, and a drug called uh, ibrutinib. And ibrutinib is a non-chemotherapy-based treatment. And so there were two arms of the trial. I happened to get on the monoclonal antibody arm for six months. But during the treatment, I was actually, everything went to normal. But as soon as I stopped that treatment, my disease progressed back to where it was before I started. And then ultimately, I was allowed to cross over to the ibrutinib side. And that was in October of 2013. And I have been on the clinical trial since October of 2013. And I still take the drug to this day. Um, my counts all are now in normal range, although it took about three years for them to get in normal range. But I have very few side effects from the drug. It is an oral medicine I take daily, and uh, uh, I have uh, slight problems with uh, joint pain and brittle fingernails and things like that. But it's a small price to pay for keeping the disease uh, under control. So right now I'm living a full life. I'm enjoying my grandchildren. I'm playing golf. Uh, if you looked at my blood counts, you could not through just looking at my counts even suspect that I had leukemia.